Hi, I'm Cody from MailChimp. In this video, I'll show you how to set up email authentication on your domain. Authentication shows your recipient's email server that you're a legitimate sender. This helps protect your sender reputation so your emails avoid the spam folder and reach the inbox. And it helps guard your domain from being spoofed by bad actors. Before we get started, here are some important things to know. Google and Yahoo now require DKIM and DMARC authentication for large senders. That means anyone who sends more than 5,000 emails to Gmail or Yahoo addresses within 24 hours. These changes also affect people who have at gmail.com in their from address and send emails through an email service provider. Basically, if it's a Gmail domain and the service that sends the email is in Gmail, the message could be marked as spam. Keep in mind, Yahoo and Google's requirements impact all email service providers, not just MailChimp. To prevent your emails from bouncing, we recommend authenticating your domain. To do this, you have to own and control your domain. It can't be a free service like Yahoo. So, we encourage you to set up a custom domain like the one you use at work. For me, that'd be MailChimp.com. Once you have a custom domain, you'll need to verify it with MailChimp before you start authentication. Check out our Help Center to learn how to do that. Now that I've covered some important points, let's dive into MailChimp so I can show you how to authenticate your domain. First, click on your profile icon and then choose Account. On the Account page, click Domains. And then in the custom email domain section, choose your domain and click start authentication. We'll guide you through either an automatic or manual process depending on your domain's provider. I'll go over the automatic process first. To start, click continue. Next, you'll be prompted to log into your domain provider. Maybe the person who has access to your domain doesn't have MailChimp credentials. If that's the case, you can forward this login to them and they can complete the process outside of MailChimp. If you do have the credentials, go ahead and enter your info and click login. This is the only time we'll ask you to do this. We won't store your login information. Your domain provider might ask you to go through two-step authentication. For example, after you log in, you could receive a text with a verification code. But if your provider doesn't require this step, you're all set. We'll update your domain records, which could take up to 48 hours. And once the process is finished, we'll send you an email and you'll see your domain marked as authenticated on the domains page. And that's it for the automatic process. If you've completed this with no issues, you're ready to send to Gmail and Yahoo email addresses. Now I'll click done to exit the pop-up. Next, we'll take a look at how to manually authenticate your domain. We're back on the domains page, and the first thing you'll do is click Start Authentication. Then, if you're not prompted to automatically authenticate, you'll see a checklist for the manual process like the one on my screen. For the next step, choose your domain provider from the dropdown. If your service isn't listed, choose Other, and when you're done making your selection, click Next. After that, you'll go to your domain provider's website. Depending on your service, MailChimp will offer guidance on where you can manage your DNS settings. So review our instructions. Then in a separate browser window, log into your domain provider and locate your settings. And when you're done, return to MailChimp and click Next. Moving on, You'll create two CNAME records if they haven't been created already. Doing this will help you comply with Google and Yahoo's requirements for DKIM authentication. DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail, and it adds a digital signature to your emails. This helps the receiving server make sure that the emails are coming from you and not an imposter. To help you create CNAME records, we'll provide customized instructions based on the service you use. But to give you an idea of what to expect, you'll need to copy values from MailChimp and paste them into the fields on your domain provider's site. And once you've finished creating two CNAME records, head back to MailChimp and click Next. 
This step involves a DMARC record, which is another requirement to send to Gmail and Yahoo addresses. DMARC, or Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance, tells the receiving inbox what to do if an email isn't legitimate. You can request for a suspicious email to be rejected or sent to spam, and this helps protect you and the recipient from spoofed domains and phishing. If a DMARC record already exists, you don't need to create a new one. But if you do need to add a record, just follow our customized instructions. You'll copy data from MailChimp and paste it into your DNS settings like you did for the CNAME records. If you'd like to monitor your DMARC reports, include RUA equals mail to at the end of the TXT value you've copied and add your email address after the colon in mail to. Try to use an email address you can dedicate to reports. It'll help you stay organized. Or you could send your reports to a free third-party monitoring service like Valley Mail. Keep in mind that you can come back and edit the email address so you can skip this step for now if you're short on time. Whatever you decide, just click Next when you're ready to move forward. Nice work. From here, you just have to wait for MailChimp to confirm that your records are updated and correct. Remember, this can take up to 48 hours. If you want to see how things are going, you can click Check Status, but we'll send you an email when the process is complete. When authentication is successful, you'll see Authenticated labeled next to your domain on the Domains page. If there are any issues, you'll find guidance in the Email Domains section. And with that, we've covered how to set up email authentication. Thank you so much for following along. For more information, visit our Help Center for other great articles and videos.